Alright guys, let's see how we can use Chat GPT along with Studio One Core Track. First, let's see how the Core Track works. We're gonna open it right here. And you can choose a chord from this cycle here. Um, you can also choose from this thing here. So let's say we want an F sharp, a major or minor a seventh and sometimes when you see a slash on the chord it means the bass is different so we can choose it from here so let's say it was a C bass and yeah that's all you need to know about the chord track okay let's see how we can use chat GPT to give us chord progressions I use it in two ways first I can search by style let's say a synth wave chord progression, R&B, lo-fi, Latin, or whatever I want. So let's say... It's usually more simple, but yeah, we got this. Uh, you can always ask for more. You could try those to see how it sounds, but the second way I search is I think the one you will use the most. And you search by artist or type, beats or whatever you want to emulate. So I would ask like this. Let's say Juice World. Right. We can stop that and try inserting this A minor C G and F. Drag it down. too high I'm gonna drop it down and so what I'm gonna do first I'm not gonna leave it like that uh, if you watch my previous video um, I'm gonna display the chords so You could always uh, invert the chords. First, let me drag the bass note down. So yeah, let's try inverting some notes. I'm going to choose the middle note. Shift and press up arrow key. some sustain so you can try different things I'm gonna use a different instrument some simple drums bump the BPM this is something that you could work very easily with you could add layers, some lead sounds 
So let's move to another example. I'm going to ask for an RMB chord progression. You don't even have to type properly. Okay, we can see it doesn't give me ninth and seventh chord progression, so we can ask for that. Now let's see how we could add that. So A minor 7 um, F major 9th Alright C major 7 and last one G 7th Let's see how those sound. I'm gonna merge them and drop them down. I don't really like the last chord, but It could work. Let's add a different instrument. Some reverb. I'm gonna keep it high. Okay, let's get a drum loop from Splice to test it out. some R&B vibes as you can see and you can do that with any music style you want so yeah my thoughts on ChatGPT is always use your ears uh, and don't trust at least yet what it gives you but yeah so far so good I'm gonna definitely use it for chord progressions and yeah, I hope you had fun with this one and I'm going to see you next time. Cheers.